Hello, I'm Mike Clark. For a quarter of a century, I wrestled with the complexities of obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, an experience that profoundly shaped my understanding of mental health. My journey was arduous, but ultimately triumphant, leading me not only to overcome OCD, but also to gain deep insights into obsessive compulsive personality disorder, OCPD. Now, as I celebrate over five years free from the grip of these conditions, my mission is to share the knowledge and strategies I've acquired. Today, we'll delve into the intricacies of OCPD, unraveling its roots and focusing especially on the challenge of overcoming perfectionism, a core aspect that often goes unaddressed yet significantly impacts those affected by this disorder. Understanding OCPD. Understanding OCPD goes beyond just knowing the acronym. It involves delving into the psyche of those who experience it. Obsessive Compulsive Personality Disorder, OCPD, is a condition that extends its influence into the very fabric of an individual's daily life. Characterized by an excessive adherence to rules, an unyielding pursuit of orderliness, and a compelling need for control, OCPD is distinct from Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, OCD. While OCD is often marked by intrusive thoughts and repetitive behaviors that are unwanted and distressing, OCPD manifests as a deep-rooted and often rigid fixation on perfectionism. People with OCPD are not plagued by the typical obsessions and compulsions seen in OCD. Instead, they are driven by a persistent and pervasive pattern of perfectionism that dictates their actions and decisions. This need for perfection goes beyond high standards. It's an inflexible adherence to rules, procedures, and schedules that they impose on themselves and often expect others to follow. Their preoccupation with details, organization, and a sense of control can lead to inefficiency as they struggle to delegate tasks or make decisions, hindered by the fear that things won't be done correctly. This condition significantly impacts both personal and professional relationships, as the individual's need for control and perfection can come across as stubbornness or a lack of willingness to adapt. It's a challenging aspect of OCPD that many find hard to navigate, often leading to conflicts and misunderstandings with those around them. Understanding OCPD is crucial, not only for those who live with it, but also for their family, friends, and colleagues who play an important role in their support network. The Nature of Perfectionism, Organization, and Control Perfectionism, organization, and control are fundamental aspects of human behavior, serving as tools to bring order and predictability to our lives. These traits, in moderation, enable us to set goals, maintain discipline, and create environments conducive to productivity and well-being. However, when these traits become excessive, as in the case of obsessive-compulsive personality disorder, OCPD, they can transform from beneficial practices into rigid, unyielding compulsions. In individuals with OCPD, perfectionism is not just about striving for excellence. It becomes an obsessive pursuit where nothing less than flawless is acceptable. This level of perfectionism transcends healthy ambition. It's a relentless drive where mistakes, no matter how small, are unacceptable and often met with severe self-criticism. The need for perfect order and precision in every aspect of life becomes a source of stress rather than achievement. Organization for someone with OCPD is not just about keeping things tidy. It's a stringent system where everything must be in a specific place and manner, often following strict rules and schedules. Deviation from these self-imposed regulations can cause significant anxiety and distress. This need for organization often extends beyond personal spaces, impacting their interactions with others and their expectations of how things should be done. Control in OCPD is about more than just managing one's own life. It often involves attempting to exert control over the environment and the people around them. This need for control stems from an underlying fear that without it, chaos will ensue. It's a belief that they alone know the right way to do things, leading to difficulties in delegating tasks or sharing responsibilities. This can result in strained relationships both personally and professionally, as their need for control can be perceived as overbearing or inflexible. Understanding the nature and impact of these amplified traits in OCPD is crucial. It helps in recognizing the difference between striving for excellence and being controlled by an unattainable quest for perfection. It also paves the way for developing more adaptive strategies to manage these tendencies, both for those with OCPD and for their loved ones and colleagues. Symptoms of OCPD Obsessive Compulsive Personality Disorder, OCPD, is marked by a pattern of symptoms that significantly affect various aspects of an individual's life. 
These symptoms are not just habits or preferences, but are intense enough to interfere with personal, social, and professional functioning. People with OCPD typically exhibit the following symptoms. 1. Excessive devotion to work. Individuals with OCPD often prioritize work above all else, including leisure activities and relationships. This isn't just about being career-oriented. It's an obsession where the person feels compelled to work incessantly, often at the cost of personal health, hobbies, and time with loved ones. They may struggle to relax or engage in activities for pleasure, viewing them as unproductive or a waste of time. 2. Overattention to details, rules, lists, and schedules. People with OCPD are excessively meticulous. They focus on minute details, rules, and organizational systems to an extent that the major point of the activity is lost. This attention to detail often leads to perfectionism, where tasks take much longer to complete because they get bogged down by their own stringent standards. 3. Rigid adherence to moral and ethical codes. Individuals with OCPD often have very strict ideas about right and wrong. They adhere to internal codes of conduct and expect others to live by the same rules. This rigidity can make them judgmental and inflexible, impacting their relationships and ability to adapt to change. Inability to delegate tasks. Due to a deep-seated fear that tasks won't be completed to their exacting standards, people with OCPD often struggle to delegate work. They feel that if they want something done right, they must do it themselves, leading to overburdening and often inefficient workflows, both in personal and professional contexts. 5. Hoarding Behaviors A lesser-known symptom of OCPD is hoarding behavior, driven by anxiety about discarding items that might be useful in the future. This is different from the hoarding disorder, as the motivation is less about emotional attachment and more about a fear of being unprepared or wasteful. Recognizing these symptoms in oneself or others is critical for understanding the challenges faced by individuals with OCPD. It's important to note that these behaviors are driven by underlying anxiety and a need for control, not out of a desire to be difficult or obstructive. Understanding and addressing these symptoms can lead to more effective coping strategies and improved quality of life. The Root Cause – Anxiety Understanding the root cause of obsessive-compulsive personality disorder, OCPD, is crucial for addressing and managing it effectively. At its heart, OCPD, much like its counterpart OCD, is fundamentally rooted in anxiety. This anxiety is not just a transient feeling, but a deeply ingrained mental response that has been learned and reinforced over time. For individuals with OCPD, this anxiety often manifests as an overwhelming need for order, control, and perfection. These behaviors are not simply preferences or personality quirks. They are coping mechanisms developed by the mind in response to perceived threats or uncertainties. The mind, in its attempt to alleviate these underlying fears, adopts a rigid and controlling approach as a form of protection. The need for control and order in OCPD is essentially the mind's way of creating a predictable and safe environment. By adhering strictly to rules, schedules, and meticulous organization, individuals feel they can ward off the chaos and unpredictability of life, which they perceive as threatening. This behavior, while providing a temporary sense of security, can often lead to more anxiety, as the individual becomes trapped in a cycle of trying to maintain an unrealistic level of control over their environment and themselves. This anxiety-driven need for control often results in significant stress and strain, not only for the individual with OCPD, but also for those around them. Relationships may become strained due to the rigid expectations and lack of flexibility, and personal well-being may be compromised due to the constant pressure to meet self-imposed standards. It's important to recognize that the anxiety at the root of OCPD is a learned response and, as such, can be unlearned or managed more healthily. By acknowledging this root cause, individuals with OCPD can begin to understand their behaviors in the context of anxiety management and work towards developing healthier coping mechanisms. Addressing the underlying anxiety is key to reducing the need for control and perfectionism, leading to a more balanced and fulfilling life. Mind versus Essence in OCPD a critical aspect in understanding and managing obsessive-compulsive personality disorder, OCPD, is recognizing the dichotomy between the mind and our true essence. In both OCD and OCPD, the mind often assumes a dominant role, overshadowing our true essence, our inner self or divine soul. 
This essence, which is the core of our being, remains inherently peaceful, stable, and serene, despite the turbulence caused by the mind's anxieties and compulsions. The essence we speak of is not affected by the mind's penchant for order, control, or perfectionism. It is an unchanging part of us, deeply connected to a sense of peace and contentment that exists regardless of external circumstances. When we identify too closely with our mind, especially in the context of OCPD, we lose touch with this serene part of ourselves. We become entangled in the mind's demands for perfection and control, mistaking these mental constructs for our true identity. However, our essence remains untouched by these compulsions. It is a space within us that observes the mind's activities without getting caught up in them. This essence understands that the need for absolute control and perfection is a reaction of the mind trying to protect itself from perceived threats. It knows that these threats are often exaggerated or even unfounded. Recognizing and embracing this distinction between the mind and our essence is a powerful step towards overcoming OCPD. It allows us to view our thoughts and behaviors as something we have, not something we are. With this realization, we can start to gently detach from the rigid patterns of the mind and begin to align more closely with our true essence. This alignment brings a sense of liberation. We realize that we do not have to be slaves to our mind's incessant demands for order and perfection. Instead, we can choose to live from a place of inner peace and acceptance, where we appreciate order and structure but are not bound by them. We learn to respond to life's challenges with flexibility and grace, guided by the wisdom and serenity of our true essence. In essence, the journey to overcoming OCPD involves a shift from being controlled by the mind to nurturing and embracing our true self. This process enables us to live a more balanced and fulfilling life, where our actions are in harmony with our innermost being. Overcoming Perfectionism and Control the journey to effectively manage obsessive compulsive personality disorder, OCPD, centers around a profound understanding that we are not synonymous with our minds. It's crucial to master our minds rather than be mastered by them. This understanding paves the way to overcoming the deep-rooted traits of perfectionism and control that characterize OCPD. Here are the essential steps in this transformative process. 1. Recognition and Acceptance The first and most vital step is to recognize and accept the traits of perfectionism and control. This doesn't mean endorsing these traits, but rather acknowledging their presence without self-judgment. It's about being aware of these tendencies without attaching any negative connotations to them. 2. Understanding the mental response It's crucial to understand that the need for control and perfectionism is a response of the mind and not a reflection of our true essence. These tendencies are the mind's way of dealing with perceived uncertainties and threats. Recognizing this helps to demystify these traits and reduce their impact. 3. Mindful awareness Practicing mindful awareness is key to observing our thoughts and behaviors from a distance. Mindfulness allows us to see our perfectionist tendencies and need for control as passing mental states, not permanent aspects of our identity. This practice helps to create a space between our thoughts and our actions, giving us the freedom to choose a different response. Or resisting the mind's demands, a critical aspect of overcoming OCPD is to actively resist the urge to react to the mind's demands for perfection and control. This resistance is not about suppression, but about acknowledging these impulses and choosing not to act on them. Each act of resistance weakens the compulsive cycle, gradually leading to more freedom and flexibility. Five. Cultivating faith and trust. Nurturing faith and trust in our inner strength and in a higher power is a powerful tool in this process. This faith is not necessarily religious. It can be a belief in the resilience and wisdom of our true essence. Trusting in this inner strength helps to navigate through moments of doubt and anxiety, providing a solid foundation for overcoming the compulsions of OCPD. By implementing these steps, individuals with OCPD can start to shift their perspective. They can move from being driven by the need for perfection and control to a more balanced approach to life where they are guided by their true essence. This transformation leads to a life where actions are influenced by inner peace and wisdom rather than the rigid demands of the mind. Did the STOP method. The STOP method is an effective, practical approach to countering obsessive compulsive personality disorder, OCPD. It serves as a guide to help individuals regain control over their compulsive behaviors related to perfectionism, organization, and control. Here's a breakdown of this method. 1. Stop. The first step is to halt your immediate reaction. When the urge to engage in compulsive behaviors arises, pause. 
This moment of pause is crucial. It's the space where you can start to break the cycle of compulsivity. It's about interrupting the automatic response that your mind has conditioned you to follow. Two, take a step back. Once you've stopped, physically and mentally take a step back from the situation. This step is metaphorical. It means to create a mental distance between yourself and the compulsive urge. It's about gaining perspective, seeing the bigger picture rather than getting lost in the details of the compulsion. Three, observe. Now observe your thoughts and feelings. Watch them as an outsider without getting emotionally involved or judging them. Notice the nature of your compulsive thoughts. Are they seeking perfection, control, organization? This observation is key to understanding the patterns of your OCPD and how they manifest in your behavior. Four, proceed finally move forward with awareness and choice rather than compulsive automaticity. Decide how you want to respond to the situation, keeping in mind your true essence and the desire to break free from the chains of OCPD. This step is about exercising your power of choice, a power that lies in your true self, not in the compulsive tendencies of your mind. The STOP method is not just a technique, but a philosophy for living. It empowers you to recognize that you are in control, not your compulsive thoughts and behaviors. By consistently practicing this method, you gradually diminish the control OCPD has over your life, leading to a more balanced, fulfilling existence where your actions align with your true essence rather than the demands of a perfectionist controlling mind. Conclusion. Reclaiming Control. Overcoming OCPD involves a continuous journey of self-awareness and conscious action. By understanding that we are more than our anxious thoughts and compulsive behaviors, we can start reclaiming control over our minds. If you're seeking more in-depth guidance and strategies to overcome OCPD, OCD, or to simply find peace and mindfulness in your life, I invite you to explore more on my YouTube channel, Mindful Journey to Joy. For comprehensive resources and courses, visit mindfuljourneytojoy.com. And for more insights, check out my blog at cureocd.org.